Well, hi there. My name is Lucas Stuber, and I'm a speech language pathologist based out of Portland, Oregon. I met Sagey's Bridge, um, gosh, a couple years ago. At the time, I had a series of clinics here in Portland. I was working with both children and adults on the autism spectrum. These are not the slightly quirky uh, kids on the spectrum that we normally conceptualize in culture, right? These are the highly impacted, as we would call it, kids. And one of the biggest challenges that we had was in turn taking, right? Because turn taking is a very complicated activity. So what Alex did, which I think is absolutely brilliant, is he um, he built something called the Disc Jam. The jam is fantastic because not only does it encourage the turn taking piece, but it actually has lights and colors and a speaker built in that's customizable, right? So you can connect it to Bluetooth, you can insert a thumb drive, you can come up with whatever you would like that motivates that child while still reinforcing the curriculum. What's perhaps most incredible about this is that it takes something that kids are inherently interested in, right? So you have the kinesthetic experience of throwing and catching the frisbee. You have the auditory stimulus of actually having the sound, right, associated with it. You have the visual stimulus of having the lights and the sound and the colors and everything else. So now he's created something called the Eli. This is more of a soft plush uh, toy that can be thrown back and forth. It can be used as a self-soothing mechanism, um, you know, all sorts of things. Uh, what's amazing about this is that just like the Disc Jam, it has a speaker built in that once again is programmable. Really interesting about this is that having the speaker inside provides this sort of vibration, proprioceptive piece. I've also seen some kids in, you know, the depth of a really serious meltdown, like a, you know, a tantrum or something that's very unhappy, who will get a hold of the EY and that's it. You know, they get the input that they're looking for uh, and, you know, that'll resolve whatever emotional distress that they're currently experiencing. Not only can't I endorse this more, but um, I applaud the fact that it, it exists and I hope for much more in the future. My name is Kayla Plessinger and I am the camp director at Mount Hood Kiwanis Camp. We are a camp for children and adults with disabilities. Our goal at Mount Hood Kiwanis Camp is to empower individuals with disabilities. We had the opportunity last year to use the Eli Balls while at camp. Uh, we used them for a period of six weeks with roughly 460 campers. The Eli Ball helped our campers with social interactions throughout their camp week and also with sensory and comfort. Um, one camper in particular who is nonverbal and blind used the Eli ball for the entire week we had him at camp and he constantly had music playing holding it to his chest to feel that beat um, a few times he got overstimulated with his surroundings and that Eli ball um, helped bring down his anxiety and give him comfort the disc jam helped break down barriers and allow our campers to create new friendships within camp. Um, the campers that utilize the disc jam, they would just randomly grab other campers or staff to play with them. And then that created a friendship because um, all of a sudden they were making new friends and playing with the disc jam. We are excited to use and implement these in our next summer at Mount Hikawansi.